Hello and welcome again to Billy Ho Sports. We're headed out to Santa Anita Park for the Grade 2 San Felipe Stakes. That is going to be a Kentucky Derby prep race. Uh, the five-way split, 50 points to the winner. Likely a potential waste of a prep race, uh, and we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, this is going to be a quick hitter video. We're not going to do any past performances. It's only a five-horse field. Three of them are Bob Baffert horses, and then two others that, that garner some interest. But we'll cover them all really quickly and maybe give you a couple of picks to roll out on. And uh, just remember for all the latest content, set your notification bells, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, leave me a comment, all that kind of good stuff. Give me some thoughts on uh, what, what's going on with the Bob Baffert situation. If you have any takes on that, I've made mine known. I think it's an uh, unfortunate situation, but we're going to get into it real quick. Let's go. Okay, like I said, mile and a 16th on the dirt, Santa Anita, just five entries. Three of the five are Bob Baffert's horses. The likely winner is going to come from those three. So, uh, and it probably goes as Bob Baffert goes. He might just instruct one jock to do whatever. And they, they, you might see him talking, uh, enter, entering around the turn, uh, telling him which way to go. So that's just kind of a little inside joke with me. But anyway, uh, I'd like to root for somebody else other than a Baffert horse in this race to get those Derby points. That'd be nice. So uh, his top horse, Muth, not going. That that was some news. I thought for sure Muth would be going in this race. Instead, he's bringing out Nisos from post number two. Uh, we saw him dominate in his three-year-old debut in uh, uh, January, I think. Then he showed effortless to speak. Uh, effort effortless speed in the stretch pulling away uh and it's really truly lamentable uh that bob baffert may have the two most outstanding horses with Muth and moose and moose Muth and nisos uh and won't have either one of them eligible to compete in the derby that's kind of a, a shame i think but nisos is probably going to be your overwhelming favorite under even money i'm sure so his next entry is going to be wind me up second place finisher in the robert b lewis uh he battled scatify around the turn uh was passed up blown away by nisos then uh who was much the best that day like i said juan hernandez is going to ride number three john sadler trains scatify potential upset candidate Third place finisher in that very same race. Ran very well setting the pace. Was game in the stretch. Got out, kicked by wind me up for second. But like I said, nobody was any match for Nisos that day. Sire by Justify does look to improve. This is going to be just his third uh, start of the young career. So might be a potential value play. Would be a horse I'd look at to possibly do a uh, money back special bet. Uh, so, because you could get some decent odds there. Number four, McVeigh is a trained by John Sheriffs. Finished fourth in that Robert B. Lewis, but he was five lengths behind the second place finisher. Wind me up, uh, and a, a length and a half or length and a quarter ahead of Moonlight Sonata. But that's really not that big a deal. I'll pass on McVeigh. Uh, number five, Imagination is an interesting one. Frankie Detori rides. That's Bob Baffert's other entry. The third one. Broke his maiden in a three-year-old debut uh, back in January, then finished second in an allowance race uh, February 11th. Was defeated by stablemate May Maymun. That's a hard one to say. But that was a really, really strong race for both of those horses. Maymun was the overwhelming favorite one to five, and he, he got after him at the three-quarter pole, took the lead into the stretch, but just was not able to hold off the winner uh, so that, that was a really, really good race. So imagination might be that other Bob Baffert horse. If you can get some, some decent odds, a la, uh, wind stock, uh, from a few, uh, months ago. So, uh, best of luck this weekend if you're betting and, uh, till the next time we'll see you soon.